Hello everybody. This is Borderlands 2. Just a second. See the TV more. There we go. Now, fair warning for the viewers this is an unrated game. There's blood and gore, and uh, some mature text in it with swears and other stuff. Full disclaimer, warning, this is a really fun game, and we will be playing for the first time, uh, well, maybe not for the first time, but in a long time, first time in a long time, we will be playing a game that is not uh, there we go. That is not a uh, Pokemon. First time in a while, and we will be playing at the Gunzerker. Now this is a really fun game. I love it a lot, and I'm really excited to bring you, to show you guys the world of Borderlands 2. We got Claptrap. Woohoo! I'm so happy I'm not dead. I mean, that would stink. Kinda suck. So, if you guys do not know what this is, it's Borderlands 2 by Gearbox. It's a really fun game. If you guys are allowed to play M-rated games, uh, I suggest fully checking this game out. It's really fun. You can play as many, many classes. You can buy up. You can buy uh, DLCs. Many things to uh, increase the experience of the gameplay. Well, there's Tiny Tina's DLC, which is basically this uh, world's version of. Dungeons and Dragons. Now, uh, the main story of this game is you're a vault hunter, and you were almost killed by Handsome Jack. Uh, you survived a train wreck that blew up. Uh, Handsome Jack's the villain. He tried to kill you. Uh, you were on a planet full of bandits called Pandora uh, and basically uh, you're looking for a an alien prison called the vault and they call you the vault hunters well they call you a vault hunter right now I'm playing a Salvador This is Claptrap. He's one of my favorite characters in this entire game. And he had to say that. That, my friends, is a bully mog. We're going to be killing a lot of those things.
Now one thing you can do is there will be these uh, tokens you get from the from your ranks. Uh, and you can use these tokens to increase your stats. I have a lot of those. Uh, I have plus 7.2% of maximum health. Uh, just all of this will help you out in the long run playing the game and killing things. This is a really fun game. And this game has a lot of inappropriate humor, such as that stuff. And lots and lots of shooting things. Uh, now the class mods you can play as, uh, you can play as Gunzerker, uh, whose special ability is they can dual wield two guns at a time. Only person who can actually do that. Uh, then there is the Assassin Zero, whose special ability will allow him to basically turn invisible and put a hologram uh, and allow him to move away so he can shoot his enemies. There will be the Siren Maya, who you do not want to mess with. In fact, if you're playing in a group, you kind of want to have a Siren on your team, because they can help you out and work really well with other classes. But their special ability, they lift uh, the enemy up into the air, well she lifts her, the enemy up into the air. Uh, and puts them, pretty much traps them, and and like this ball, and it, you basically just shoot at the thing in the ball. You can get upgrades to where the, I'm pretty sure that ball will last longer. Uh, you can get upgrades to where orbs will fly out when, if you kill the thing that's in the ball. And ah. when uh, they fly out, they will heal either you, the siren, or her te or your teammates. Then there is the commando, Axton, who would probably work really well with the siren. He sends out a turret. A turret. And uh, you can upgrade that turret to where it will do more damage, have more HP, and uh, it can have missiles. It will shoot missiles, have a force field. Uh, you can upgrade it to where it has two guns on it instead of one. You can upgrade it to where you can send out two turrets at a time. It, it, it's really cool. And you get these upgrades with your special ability starting at level 5. You'll go to this column right here. Uh, first thing you do is you do this. Now, one very important thing is uh, with, uh, with every class but Assassin will... Uh, well, not every class, but... So, Commando and... Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, Gunzerker. They will have something over here that will allow you to heal. So it'll, at, uh, it'll allow you to have regeneration. Now, with the... Uh, with the Assassin, you will be able to... And the Siren... Oops. Sorry, I got... Got to get him out. Uh the assassin uh, if you kill someone while you're invisible uh, I believe this is how it works I haven't really played as the assassin too much uh, I'm more of a take your guns and charge at the enemy and shoot at them until they're dead kind of guy 
Uh, yeah. In fact, you get stuff. You get, like, titles. And right now, my title is one of my other Gunsurkers that looks exactly like this one. It is a tank. Because I just charge at people and shoot at them. It's pretty fun. <laughs> you wish. Yeesh! This guy's coming at us. Ooh. He does not look pretty. But neither do I, so... Who am I to be talking to? Yeah, shooting people in the head will, uh, it'll give you critical hits, and, uh, my expert advice with my expert strategy is just shoot it till it dies. That's my expert advice to you all. Just shoot it till it dies. Expert advice, shoot it till it dies. Oh god. Now, I usually just go in here to like cheap my way out of this to where he can't really hurt me. Because he can't really reach me. So, bam, just everyone's dead. Now, when you kill this guy, you, you, you will usually. Uh, almost all the time get a revolver. Uh, he will drop a gun, it'll be your second gun. It'll be a revolver like this. There is a small chance that he can drop a legendary. Uh, this is a legendary gun, but that'll do corrosive damage. Uh, in additional to the bullet damage. I have seen people get these in videos, but I, in real life, I've only seen one person get this. Like, with my own two eyes, as it happened. Uh, we were actually at school, and my pal, uh, he basically had this really cool device where he could play games on it. Borderlands 2 was one of them. And he got legendary when he killed this thing. And it was just insane. It, it was stupid. It was ridiculous. I called hacks. He was a wizard. And he got a legendary. It was really cool. Now, uh, this game has rarity in it. You have white weapons as the worst. Uh, I believe I, I believe it goes white, green, blue, purple, and then orange. Now there might be like a lighter blue for pearl weapons, which might be before orange or after. I'm not too sure. I might have gotten that order wrong, but it should be somewhere similar to that. Legendary weapons, uh, they can be extremely hard to find. Uh, I have, I've gotten a few. Uh, I was fighting Boom Boom uh, and his brother Bune, and when I was doing that, uh, one time, like I just had to fight them again, and they ended up dropping a legendary grenade mod. And I'm super so stoked about that. And, uh, that was cool. You know, I was playing with one of my friends. Uh, he came over, we're playing this. And, 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 I just somehow got a legendary grenade mod while fighting them first try. It was awesome. Uh, then there's one time, uh, you can get a gun that I would like to call the gun from the movies. Uh, you guys know those movies where guns just like from the 80s, movies, movies from the 80s where the guns would have infinite ammo until uh, it's uh, irrelevant to the story where they run out of ammo. Uh, yeah. Uh. 
Now that was Handsome Jack, he's the villain of the story. Although, some people might go as far to say as he is actually the hero. And I would actually kind of say this. Although, I would and wouldn't at the same time. I would say this because he's coming to a planet full of bandits and savages who are basically just killing each other. And he's trying to bring order to that planet. But then again, he has done some terrible things. An uh, example of this is... Uh, with the Hyperion Tech Corporation, uh, he started as just uh, like one of their low-ranked engineers. God, I'm terrible. So he started as a low-ranked engineer and basically blackmailed and murdered his way up to the, to the leader of the corporation. Oh my god. One bullet is all I can land on these guys. And then, bam. So yeah, he's also killed countless people, murdered his way to the top. Uh, he's not a nice guy. But he does have good he does have good intentions. But he's a power but he's also a power hung hungry crazy maniac who uh who kills people to get what he wants. Power. And he is not nice about it. So, I would say he is somewhat of a hero, but mostly a villain. Now, one thing you don't want to do is, uh, well, one thing you want to do is you want to listen to him when he says that. As you're about to see here, that don't get along. If you walk into that fence, you are going to get electrocuted. So just listen to him when he says stand back. Sir Hemelock. So far that I know, this is really, uh, like, the, where he's the most important part, the most important part he plays in the story is when we're over here. After you escape this place, uh, these two, you don't see him too much, uh, Hammerlock offers some side quests, he also gets a DLC. I don't know if he offers too much more, but I know Claptrap becomes uh, important to the story. Okay. Oh, well, thanks. He, he said some funny things. If you didn't hear earlier, uh, he was talking about how uh, Jack's mining operations and how they're just digging into uh, the Hyperion Corporation. Now they're just digging into the mines. They're, they're not doing anything good. And it's 
earth and there's just an earthquake he says either uh, Jack's uh, mining operation is mining causing those earthquakes either that or your mom just got out of bed he's a pretty funny robot who sometimes you just want to hit but in all he's one of my favorite characters Now, I think we have time for one more mission, and if you guys do want to see more of this, let me know. Most likely, we'll just do more of it, because this is a fun game, and I kind of want to play it on this channel. Uh, but if you, if you guys aren't interested and want me to play something else, do let me know. That would be gratefully appreciated. Yeah, just let me know if you guys want to see more of this on the channel. Fun game, love to play it. And I would not go ahead or just like do stuff off camera because with this game you can have, unlike Pokemon, you can have multiple accounts. So, this would be for the channel and it would stay until the finish. Ooh. Yeah, these guys will drop guns for you. Uh, uh, one thing in this game is you don't really actually want to buy the guns, which may sound crazy, but you don't necessarily want to buy weapons unless you have to. Uh, usually I just uh, usually players, I guess, just take stuff from, like, monster drops. That's usually what I do in this game. Oh, God. Or just complete quests. I'm just going to collect guns, because even if you're never going to use them... Ooh, I think I just got a better version. Yeah. I just got a better version of the gun I'm using. So yeah, uh, just collect the guns. Even if you don't use them, you can always sell them, and you could use the money. What does this do? Death or fate? Oh, uh, so apparently when it's darker red, you regenerate. Most of the time, though, it'll give you at least 25% of your eight, uh, max health back. Yes, instantly heals 25% of your max health used when picked up. So as you can see, I can buy better shields. So far, the best I can get is 117, so let's just compare those. So this has a faster recharge rate and a slow, well, a slower recharge delay. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with this one, even uh, if uh, the recharge delay isn't by much. I think I'm just gonna go with it because just just even nanoseconds can really come down to a battle. Oh, oh wait, no, you want it to be lower, so this one was better in both. So that is going to about wrap up our Borderlands episode one. If you guys want to see more of it on the channel, again, let me know. And so that pretty much wraps it up. I hope you guys.